All right, today we're going to be talking about properties of bisectors. Now, when I'm talking about properties of bisectors, I mean uh, different things that go along with those bisectors and how um, they apply to both triangles and circles. All right, so for this particular lesson, there's going to be a couple of vocab words, um, which are displayed right here. The first one is concurrent, which is when three or more lines intersect in one point, okay? So when three or more lines intersect, basically, at one spot. And then the second one is point of concurrency. So that point where the three or more lines intersect is called the point of concurrency. So they connect, okay? Going along with this idea, there's two theorems we need to um, discuss in this particular section. We have theorem 5-6, which states the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle are concurrent at a point equidistant from its vertices. Okay, so if you were to imagine that, let's say we have um, a triangle here. All right, and I say that I each of my vertices are right here, right here, and right here. And the perpendicular bisectors, so the ones that go like this, all right, this point right here would be our point of concurrency, okay? So um, the bisectors of the sides of the triangle are concurrent at a point equidistant from its first vertices. So this point where they cross over is equidistant from here, here, and here, which means they're equal distance apart, okay? All right, the second theorem we have is theorem 5-7. And this theorem states that the bisectors of the angles of a triangle are concurrent at a point equidistant from its side. So if we look at this picture again, so we have um, the bisectors of the angles, okay, so again, the same sort of lines, okay, that they are all concur uh, concurrent, they're all equidistant or equal distance from the sides, okay? So from the sides of the triangle. So instead of just talking about these, we're now talking about these, okay? All right. Well, um, we also have another part of this particular section, which is something called a circumcenter. A circumcenter of the triangle, which is the point of concurrency, we know what that word means already, of the perpendicular bisectors, okay? So that means that points Q, R, and S are equidistant from C, the circumcenter, okay? So we have, it's the center of this circle and the center of this triangle. Okay. And these um, orange lines here are all equidistant or equal distance from the sides. Okay. And when we're talking about this particular circle and in relationship to this triangle, we're using a buzzword called circumscribed about. Okay. It's very important. Whenever you see the triangle on the inside of the circle, it's the circle is circumscribed about the triangle, which means it's going around the triangle. It's outside the triangle. Okay? Not inside. Outside. Circumscribed about. Outside. All right. Second part of that is the in center. The in center is a little bit different. Um, the in center of the triangle is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors. So this circumcenter goes more along with theorem 5-6. Um, the in-center goes more with theorem 5-7. You can see the relationship there. Um, so the in-center of the triangle is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors. Okay? All right, so we have this giant triangle here. And we're saying that this part 
this part and this part are equidistant from the in center, the in center, okay? And when we're talking about the in center, we're talking about the circle is inscribed in the triangle. Notice, circle, inside, triangle, not outside of triangle. So it's inscribed in the triangle, all right? So um, please make sure that all of this gets in your notes and that you um, get the two theorems in the back of your notebooks and I will check them tomorrow. Also, um, I learned this today at a conference. If you've watched the entire video, why don't you draw me a really cool Santa Claus in the corner of your whisk. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.